Hello and welcome to the show. I'm here today on Beam NG Drive, going to be taking a look at, well, a couple of really rather cool mods. So first of all, we have the car. Uh, this thing is called the TrackFab Superlight. It is essentially a caterer. There are various different versions of the vehicle available. I have gone for the 300 horsepower one with racing slicks and an awful lot of aero parts uh, because we've come to, well, a racetrack. We're going to mess around with some of the slightly less powerful versions a little bit later on, but uh, we're going to start off with the full-on race version that's apparently stalled. Uh, so the venue, the place we've come to test this, is a really rather cool map. And every so often I will scroll around on the Beam forums and have a look, see if any particular mods uh, sort of take my fancy to go and get back into this game a little bit. Oh, that's bumpy there. Uh, I've spun on pit exit. There's a reason why you should abide by pit lane speed limits. Yeah. Uh, do I have the turning circle? I don't have the greatest turning circle, as is often the curse of race cars. Don't lose the front wing bit. Okay, we're good. Terrible pit exit, but never mind. Uh, this is the Multifino uh, map. It is a really very, very cool map. It might actually be one of my favourite maps that I've played with on this game. So, we have a street circuit. Now, admittedly, at times a little bit less than ideally signposted, shall we say. Uh, the description or whatever of this uh, of this map that takes inspiration from Monaco, from Sochi, and from uh, Baku. And you can kind of tell that in places, Christ, the bumps almost got the bad. I'm not sure this might, this might not have been the best choice of car. It is a little, it is a little bumpy in places. Uh, I did drive around here in a sunburst and that was okay. Uh, this is quite a extreme, uh, an extreme track vehicle. I guess it's not got thousands of horsepower, but still on the track vehicle spectrum, this is pretty crazy fast. You've got 300 horsepower and 500 kilos. Uh, yeah, that's quite a lot of speed here. Uh, and what is a relatively challenging street circuit, we've got a nasty little narrow chicane. Uh, there are walls all around. Or oh, I should say there are a couple of missing textures, mostly on some trees. I don't know. I've probably got something wrong with my game. <laughs> it's probably something my end, uh, not the map's fault. I'm not making that corner, am I? No, I am making that corner. There is a lot of grit. There's a huge amount of grit in this car. Uh, this is the bit that will remind you if it's going the other... Whoa! No barrier! <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> As I say, I think I locked that one up. Uh, not very well by me. This is the sort of little Baku section, if you like. Very, very narrow between the railings. Up here, don't let the back end get carried away. And then we're... Again, you're around by walls. It's a really neat little circuit, this one. It's a really neat little circuit. I mean, it's... I'd say as ever with a street circuit, it's narrow. Little mistakes are going to be punished. As... Oh, as they do... Do get punished with street circuits. Oh! That, <laughs> I've not... This doesn't have... I say it doesn't have the most amazing turning circle in the world. Um... I don't quite know why. It feels like it should do. Every so often it just doesn't quite turn the way. I, honestly, I was driving practice laps with this before starting filming. I was doing a lot better job of not crashing it into the wall everywhere. Basically, you've got to be super careful going to full throttle uh, in this car. And we're going to brake nice and early. Could probably get away with later, but I want to make sure I actually get stopped. Oh, no, I've messed it up on the bumps again. Uh, <laughs> I could do that corner. God damn it. Uh, yeah, so as far as street circuits go, as far as street circuits go, this is a really, really, this is a really good one. You know, I could imagine this just about, okay, sure, there are quite a lot of tree-lined sections, basically which would be there, and there's a couple of places where you can get lost slightly. You can James May it up if you want. Oh, nope, not got the rear end grip to make that one stick. I've got it slowed for the corner. There is just not quite the rear end, I mean, there is a lot of rear end grip. I guess I just asked a little too much of the car. Come on, auto clutch. <laughs> You'll figure it out. So yeah, we've got the very, very tight hairpin here. In fact, it's probably wider, a little bit more open than you get from the Monaco hairpin. You've got the nasty chicane coming up. No tunnel. There is no tunnel blasting around here, but it is a nice set. It's a, it's a fun challenge, even though I'm doing apparently a terrible job with this. Why am I okay, getting some twitchy... Oh, there goes the rear wheel. It's fine. Nothing to see here. The rear wheel has just overtaken me. Uh... If the diff would let it go, I could probably still drive. Not very well, but we could probably still drive. We're balancing it. See, look, everything's fine. There's nothing to see here whatsoever. I just wanted to try and do... I just mean to do that. Uh, can we... We can rewind it back that way. I wanted to try to just go for a lap without <laughs> spinning the Caterham lookalike. Uh, I can do... Honestly, it is possible. 
is possible to go an entire lap without spinning this car. I think the, the trick with this, you've got to be really careful. It's the whole steering while braking. You've got to be really careful with the bumps. Everything is, is all about maximum, maximum careful with this kind of car. I know that seat, that, I mean, this is mega slow through here, but let's just not spin the car. It's quicker to go slowly through here than to try and blast your way through and have a silly accident. That is the, uh, the, the, the logic. That's what I'm thinking. Uh, oh, there we go. It's fine. Uh, it's, it's, not, it's not that the car is bad. The car isn't bad at all. It's that uh, I've got to try it. You've got to be so careful. I mean, I'm playing this with a 360 controller. Uh, I wonder, you might even fare slightly better with this on a wheel, to be honest with you. You'd be able to do slightly. It's really easy to do just that little too sharper of movements with a controller. Uh, you're fine fine positioning is always a little bit more difficult. Now, I'm going to try and be careful, because it's it's braking, steering, and hitting bumps, I think, is what is getting the better of me. So it's going to be a little bit smoother in deter while we're not quite using all of the road or jumping on the throttle as soon as ultimately uh, possible, but we are at least not spinning. Now, watch out for the wall on the exit. See how nasty it is for the car across there. And I want to be flat through here. But you've got to be ready for this section. This is a real nasty corner, actually, because it gets so narrow through here. The car has got the grip to get away with it. We'll get away a little bit towards full throttle. I'll keep it in second, actually. I think first we'll just spin the wheels pointlessly through there. Can I get to full throttle in front of the beach? We should be good down here. This is a smoother part of the circuit here. It's still a bit bouncy in this car. Straighten it up. Straight it up. Get on the brakes nice and early. Might have been a little bit, again, a little bit early. Brakes are massively powerful, as you would expect on a car this light. Uh, it will get stopped very, very quickly, but we're currently playing a slightly cautious game. Here we go. We can open it up out the other side. Uh, we're not too bad on this section. As I say that, we start wandering around. You've got to be really, really careful to not lock everything up. Uh, that is, that is a, just a thing in general with beating if you turn ABS off. Uh, it is always one of the more difficult games to try and get the braking right so you don't lock the entire thing up and don't ping a wheel off of the armco uh, much like real life it's very easy to rip a wheel off if you rip a quarter of a car off if you clip the armco barrier slightly wrong or it's still a smidge wide through there but that's fine it was at least safe to try and get a little bit closer to full throttle around here uh carefully does it across the bumps we go that there we go now we can open it up down the start finish right a little bit of a twitch that is a better lap that is a much better lap around this circuit we're still wandering a smidge now this is just a section of the map and that is an important thing to note this uh, <laughs> that kind of that, 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 that lap if you like is just a small a small part so not only have we got the circuit around there but you can actually go visit the town if you so wish with your caterham uh, that might not enjoy being away from an actual circuit. I don't know what the roads are like. I haven't actually driven around this bit here. Uh, the roads are probably a little bit bumpier, a little bit more nasty, shall we say. It's a nice-looking little town as well. Uh, you know, it's along the lines. I would presume the buildings are probably uh, similar to ones you find in the in the Italy map. Like, it's, it's great that they have the, the Italy map now because you, get, well, you can... It's easier, I say, for, for mod makers to uh, build these fantastic more intricate little towns that you can go and drive through. So there are fun roads to explore around here as well, if you so wish. No idea where I'm going in here, but, you know, it's nicely, uh, oh god, ni nicely windy. You could probably make up your own fun little street circuits around here as well if you wanted. Uh, some of the roads don't feel too bad <laughs> to drive across. I think there's a way up into the castle. I don't quite know. But, yeah, that is not the only uh, fun parts of this map. So, not only do we have a rather excellent circuit and a bit of a town to explore, there are plenty of mountain roads. Now, my car for this one, I've gone for the, this is the SL140R, I think, was the name. Now, now I've completely dead out. I get quite some nice views from up here. So this has got road suspension, so it should be a little bit more forgiving because we're driving on some mountain roads, but does still have slick tyres, so we should have the grip. Now, it does look a little silly in terms of it moves around quite a lot on the suspension uh, across sort of like small bumps as we saw up there, but it does make the car much, much nicer to drive on these roads. And these are roads that you are going to want to be having a nice car to drive on. You're going to be wanting lots of grip. Now, this is not about top-end speed, these roads. They are twisty, they are turny, there is lots of trees to bump into if things go wrong. There are actually some quite steep elevation changes down here, for example. It's really easy to get carried away 
it's really, really easy to all get carried away with a little too much speed and a little bit of trouble. Oh, <laughs> I wanted to go this way anyway, thankfully. Um, but yeah, if you like nice mountain roads, which, let's face it, we all do. Nice mountain roads and a good car for tackling them. This is it. I mean, these are properly challenging mountain roads as well. They're not sort of the most insanely narrow roads I come across. They're good for trying to take some speed. If you try and take all of the speed, you'll have a very big crash, uh, as I don't really know them particularly well. And the views are fantastic as well. Uh, we kind of got these mountains that line the back of the map. You can kind of see them well over there. You'll see the mountains that sort of line the back of the map. And these these roads will circle around the outside of the of the city. Ooh, and there's quite a lot of them as we go for a big old spin and... Oh, well. <laughs> he took off the side pipe. It's fine. I mean, it's not... Well, it's partly detached. It's still on the car. It's a little wedged. Is that going to fall out underneath the bottom of the vehicle? I do not know. Uh, no, I think it's still quite wedged in the... S oh, it's kind of wedged in the side. It's, it's, it's disconnected from the manifold, but it's still attached to the side of the... It's... There's, Ah, it'll be alright. Uh, it's not effect. It's changed the sound. I like that the exhaust damage now does change the sound of the cars a little bit. Fun, fun feature. Uh, oh, I don't know where I'm going. I guess we're going to go over this way here. Oh, no. Oh, spin the vehicle. Are we going to climb back up again? I think. I think at the end they loop around. So there is kind of like an almost let's say an infinite loop. You can drive around a lot of these. Uh, we are going to head back out into the sunlight. Uh, couple, I mean. Frame rate wise, there's a lot going on in this one. I have a pretty damn powerful computer. Uh, it doesn't come unstuck for me around here. We're playing at 60 FPS with no problems whatsoever. Um, okay, it doesn't quite loop around where I thought it did. I have gone to a dead end though. Well, I mean, I see a big landing zone over there. <laughs> Again, like the visuals are fantastic on here. Uh, you can see out in the distance, you've got some wind turbines, there's some. There's a bridge over there. We've got another big old bridge over that bit. More more wobbly, windy roads to be driving around. Yeah, performance-wise, on lower NPCs, it's going to hurt. Uh, there, I'd say there is no doubt about it. It's unfortunate. There is a lot of detail going on here, which is great. If your computer can run it, start adding in a few cars, and so on, you might run into some, some trouble, etc. I personally, aside from a couple of drops here and there, I've not really experienced many problems, but my system is not necessarily an average one. Uh, come on, come on, cater up. Let's see how well you fly. Uh, you're struggling up this hill a little bit. Could probably done with a 300 horsepower one for this. Two somewhere. Oh, we're going to go nose first, aren't we? This isn't good. Everything's broken. I mean, let's face it, we did expect everything to be broken. <laughs> the engine is technically okay. <laughs> Well, I say technically. <laughs> technically is a very... Oh, I forgot I sped that up. Oh, are we... It's not quite going to full speed. Uh, can we drag the car out? What's left of the... Oh, dear. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, it's a pretty sturdy sort of base for the car. Two wheels are on. Well, technically three wheels are on, but that's not the right angle for the wheel. Does the steer okay, here's the question. Does the steering on the one wheel there still work? It does, surprisingly. Quite a few cars, that would have fallen apart. But on this one, it still it <laughs> it still does. Uh, I mean if we just have a quick, very, very quick we'll just go oh, that's the wrong way with that. Just quick whiz out here. And you can see where the roads like loop around. Oh, okay, this might upset it a bit a little bit, but you've got these lovely coast roads you can drive around. Again, Margin for error a little bit greater on this, but still, if things go wrong, there's plenty of bits of scenery to go and crash into. The final thing to show off around here, as you can probably guess, by my vehicle of choice. Yes, not only do we have some lovely tarmac mountain roads to race around, not only do we have a very good fun street circuit, we have a rally stage as well, because of course we do, why not? Uh, this actually comes off, I mean this is the main circuit, you might have even seen this while I was whizzing around in the caterham. Uh, the main circuit goes off down there, you can just about see the barriers, that's towards the uh, really tight little hairpin. So this is a little rally stage. The, I say the strange thing, it feels a lot smoother on the dirt here uh, <laughs> than it did on the tarmac. Now that is probably more to do with my vehicle choice than anything else, or uh, well, certainly this first bit. It feels like a relatively smooth dirt road. 
Uh, I mean, this is not the ultimate fastest of the rally cars. The Sunburst is a little bit quicker than the Ice Series, but I always use the Sunburst, so I want to do something a little bit different. Um, it's pretty good rally stages. Perhaps not quite as crazy. It's not as crazy demanding a rally car stage as the, the Douglas Rally. I played a little while ago, might have been the last Bean video I did, uh, it's not quite that crazy level of demanding for a rally car, it's a little bit wide, I mean it's still unforgiving in as far as the route is lined with trees, you make a little mistake and you are going to be in trouble here, because there are plenty of them, uh, but the road is a little bit wider as I said, it's not quite, a, it's not quite as bumpy around here, I don't know where I'm going, oh, that was a panic. <laughs> There was a lot of panic in there. Let's go try and cut a handbrake around the corner. They just didn't think we were stopping. Uh, I haven't driven very far along the rally stage. I kind of zoomed around with the camera, had a look. Drove a little, little bit and thought, yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, we haven't got all the way through this. But, uh, yeah, you've got just about everything you could want in, in one map. There are a lot of trees around here. I've gone down to... I've gone down to giddy... <laughs> giddy lows of 55 frames a second for a little bit with all the dust coming off the back of the car. Uh, but yeah, it is a, a fun... A fun rally stage. Not quite the most ridiculous. There is a... a I think it loops itself back around towards a bridge because we went... Oh, we are under the bridge. Sorry, there's a little water splash that we went underneath, which I, th oh, which I think we will loop our way back towards. Are we going to get some air time across here? It's a little bit. It's a little bit. We could probably jump it could jump a faster car a little bit further. Come on now. Make it through these next couple of corners. I was looking... F no, that's going to be way too quick. Just as I start... Okay, we do... See, the bits that start feeling like they narrow up and then they always seem to just open up that loop. But again, you've got so much going on in one map. There is so much you can be doing with this. You can just about just test just about any vehicle. Sorry, the only thing it doesn't have is rock crawling, and that's incredibly, <laughs> incredibly specialised. So, yeah, just about anything you could imagine wanting to do on Beam, you can do on this map, and it looks it looks fantastic. It's a fantastic sort of scenery you've got to be blasting around. Uh, it's a good fun track layout for a, for a street circuit. Perhaps a bit smidge bumpy for some vehicles. I, think I might have looped myself around a little bit wonky here. Are we going to climb up towards the top? Ah! Is that the finish line? I think it might be. Cool. And then we found... Oh, we found like an old... <laughs> an old wreck. An old, an old wreck. Old abandoned building. Well, what's left of one. And a big old jump. Oh yeah, if you like just jumping cars into the abyss. Eh, you can do that as well if you want. There's a lot to do here. Really, really well made map. I highly recommend you give this one a look. As I said, there is bound to be something to keep you entertained on on this one. So I shall oh I swear the car sound just gave up. I didn't hear it buzzing limiter. <laughs> so I will I will leave a link to this uh, to this map and indeed to the to the super light. That thing is very, very good fun to drive. Tricky very tricky as often high powered lightweight cars are in beam, but I do very much recommend that one as well, especially in the road configurations. That is not a bad car to drive whatsoever. And through... We found a clearing. We managed to hit the ground and not the plethora of trees. It's a very broken eye series now. But, uh, yeah. Recommendations. Very big recommendations on both the map and the vehicle. Uh, go, and, go and check them out. Might make PC cry a little bit. But uh, if it doesn't, it's very, very much worth it. That, though, is going to be it from me. Thank you all very much for watching. Of course, a big thank you to the mod makers for making these, these fantastic mods. Until next time, a goodbye.